Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, they're no, no, no. They're going your way. Don't worry about it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> scouting here we've only driven probably only about 10 minutes on the road so far and we ran into a flock that was just cruising the winds up a lot more it's blowing about 15 mile an hour so and they're bucking it they were bucking it so they're real very easy to see very easy to chase because they're really bucking that wind it slows them down so found the field they're on they're on a cut corn field that's already been dissed it's re it's a really dark 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 field uh, not many stocks not much trash in it but I bet there's what do you say is in there 800 thousand almost yeah so 800 a thousand decent feed but we're gonna keep this one in mind try to get permission for it we'll know if we have it here in a little bit but we're gonna get back on the road and keep trucking here that'd be horrible Birds, dude, the mallards in there are insane. They just all got up. Were they over the hill, close to the trees? So it's not as close to the trees as we would want. How many, how many feeds did you guys find? Uh, we found one really little one, and then this is the one that we've been watching for a while now. Is this the one that he already got permission on? I don't think so. He just said we have. He said, he said the he, other he said one permission. was. Oh, did he? Yeah, that's what he oh. said. That's what Hayden oh. said. Okay, I, I don't know that. I don't so know. Just, just do that so here. well, between between the two trucks, how, how long we've been on the road? Forty-five minutes. Probably forty-five minutes. More than that. Hour and a half. Hour. Oh, it's been fun. <laughs> you yeah. just lose track of time. Hour and a half. Uh, we found probably six feeds. This is the biggest one for sure. Probably three thousand ducks, thousand big geese, small geese. Big geese. Big geese. Thousand big geese. So. This is a tilled up field and it is extra bare. That's the only problem. The only problem with this is every field we see, birds are wanting to stay in the middle of the field. So when there's nothing out there, there's no hide, the, the corn is extra short, what do you do? So we have we have options and uh, I don't know which one we're gonna hunt. Dude, a dark field like that yeah. with socks and silos and full bodies and laying underneath a couple socks yeah. for ducks and then wearing just dark, dark, dark. Wear brown, dark brown camo. Wear it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, good morning, y'all. What's up? Welcome back to another one. And yes, we're still in Canada, still hanging with the boy himself. As you can tell, it is a raining. So on the way to the field, it just basically poured on us. So we can't get a truck in the field. Uh, we're gonna have to keep the trucks on the road, haul in all the decoys. A good. 50, 100 yards in the muck, in the slime. It's some sticky, icky stuff. But if you didn't see the first Canada vlog, this is our second video going up. If you haven't watched the first travel slash hunt vlog, that was the first one. You need to go watch it after this one. But it is a 10 man hunt today. Uh, we scouted our butts off. We put four trucks on the road yesterday and probably got permission on about four fields. Found about eight feeds and this one was the absolute mother load had about 3,000 ducks and about 1,500 geese so it is just piled stacked full I'm gonna be running a frames today so I'm gonna put away the camera for a minute we got a lot of work to do we got to sling decoys in the mud there you go there you go stretch it out stretch it out stretch it out baby stretch it out baby yeah oh yeah get them touch them oh yeah oh wow Good, you really good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the old goggle game is not strong today, boys. Anyways, it's still raining. We've been waiting on it to end. We all got sweaty butt cracks <laughs> and uh, not enough blind <laughs> material. But not enough. Man, but. 
Not enough? Oh, we got plenty. Oh, he says, we got plenty, boys. I bet they're doing it, they're doing it. Oh, come on, baby, get down. <laughs> If they give us that again, we're going to have to do it. There you go. Nice shot. Mark me. Oh, that was a long shot. They're not wanting to give it up. They're not wanting to get closer. Um, man, that's a struggle. We let them work for, for way too long. Lost most of the pack. But, uh, got to start taking earlier shots here. <laughs> big group, big group. Big group. You want to do it when they circle over? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take up! Oh, yeah. Take up! Yeah! Woo! Well, that worked. <laughs> First pass, I think that was the uh, yeah. I think that was the call. First pass, boys. Were you good with the call? Yeah. Good. I'm telling you what, I'm telling you what, I've been a Susie killing machine today. Another one down, no band. Pretty big bird. Yeah. Yeah. Good looking Susie. Yeah. She's thick. Yeah. Darn. Good shooting, Bonzo. That was good. <laughs> That would have been probably the one. We've got a new little group. Uh, the birds get over this blind and they see the dark hole in the A-frame and the big void, the big black hole. And uh, they didn't like it, so this is what we did. Oh yeah, we covered it up. So if this don't work, I don't know what the heck will. It has, uh, it's been a struggle. I think uh, I've had one determination that uh, in Canada, birds do not decoy up against grass lines, tree lines, anything. I mean, they just don't like it. Every feed that we found, the birds have been in the middle of the field. So uh, I think the move is to use lay down blinds and uh, try to grass them up, you know, as best we can and um, lay in the middle of these fields because they're not liking it. This is, this is it's getting to your boy a little bit. I, I have to say, I drove a long ways and, and it's not that we're not on the birds. It's just that they do not want to land up against the edge of a field. That's that's for certain. And we're not even in the edge of the field. Look at where we're at here. So there's a truck way over there. This is just a grass like peninsula. There's the field and then the peninsula goes around, around, around. There's our blind. So, I mean, we are out in the field. That's the thing is we're not up against the fence line. We're not up against the road by no means. So we actually haven't seen very many geese this morning. Not as many that was in here yesterday. Uh, we've seen a bunch of ducks. This morning at low, low light, they did it really well. The first two, three groups. And once the sun came up a little bit, got brighter out, uh, they were seeing over the A-frame. They were seeing the big black hole. So we got some grass, covered it up. It helped a little bit. But again, we're up against the edge of a field and they don't like it. I can tell you right now, they are not digging it. So I think from here on out, we're gonna have to sit in the middle of these fields, hands down. There's no question to it. So we're gonna try to revamp the game plan. Come back out this afternoon. It might be this field, it may not be. And do some more scouting. Hopefully it gets better. Oh, oh, <laughs> what time is it, Bonds Daddy? 2.35. 2.35, I just woke up from a midday nap. Yep, we're going out to the same field though. Uh, we didn't get into them hard this morning. We didn't even shoot one goose. Now, 
being an out of countryer here, a non Canadian, me and Bond's daddy and all of us that aren't from here cannot shoot the geese after noon. After noon. So we are only allowed, the, all of us out of countryers are only allowed to shoot the ducks this evening. So anybody local, they're the only ones that are going to be able to shoot the geese. But we're going to get on the road here. All the guys literally took a nap. We're all going, oh my god, we need caffeine. So we're going to go stop by a little convenience store they have in town, grab us some Red Bulls, chug them, literally chug them. We've all been running on E. I mean, we 18 hours up here in one day. And then you know how it goes. When there's 11 people staying in one house and you're all waterfowl hunters, you don't get much sleep. So. You know how it goes. We're all trying to catch up on that sleep, get back going here. We've just been having a bunch of fun, eh? Yes, sir. Well, 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 well. So we're hunting the same field, but as you guys seen today, we use the A-frame. You cannot sit on the edge of these fields. The geese, every feed we've found, like I said before, these geese are in the middle of these fields. That's why uh, on Instagram and everywhere you always see the big guides out here sitting A-frames in the middle of these fields and just tearing them up. The secret is you, they, they don't want a decoy on the edge of these fields. So that's how we hunt them in Kansas a lot uh, is out of tree rows, but it's a lot colder. They want to get out of that wind. It's not cold right now. It's probably 50 degrees. So it's fair weather. They're not so hungry to where they'll just give it up on the edge of the field so we are out in the middle of the field now directly over the fly line exactly where they were feeding yesterday and we put out all 20 dozen dive bombs we got out about three dozen full body mallards two mojos and about 60 full bodies so um it's gonna be it's gonna be good i don't want to jinx it give us a little thumbs up for a little bit of inspiration oh we're gonna smash them dude we're Come on, baby. We're gonna kill it? Come on. That's how we're feeling. We're ready to go. Spirits are high, baby. Oh, uh, we're all sitting down. We're all just shooting the poop. Having a good time. It's, it's fun um, when everybody's just chilling in the blind. When it's really high spirits, you know that you're gonna see some birds and you know you're directly under a flight line. That's the thing. We're under the flight line now. We're not trying to pull them in any direction. They should fly over. It shouldn't be much calling. It should be pretty easy. Uh, if it's not that, I guess we'll wonder why afterwards, but let's try to kill these suckers. Here we go, boys. First big set. First big set. Shh. Small pack right here. There we go, boys. Here we go, boys. Get ready. Get ready, boys. Get ready, boys. One more try. Yeah, good shooting. If you down the bird, you know where it is, grab it. Oh boy, your boy's tired. Your boy is tired. Oh my, I had to run a long way for that bird. Look at him doing it. There's more ducks. New, new group coming from behind. Get down. Oh man, these birds. We are getting a little bit of everything here. Lots of green. Lots of green. Yep, yep. Smoke the three. Nice shooting, boys. Woo! Good shooting, boys. Oh, so we've, uh, I think we've taken three shots, done some pretty good shooting. Uh, the first group to do it was just beautiful, a bunch of birds. It was beautiful, but we just down to three pack. I'm pretty much done, so I'm gonna start filming. So none of us shooting right now are residents, so we cannot shoot geese right now. You can't shoot geese after noon. So uh, kind of sucks, but the greenheads, they're doing it. Oh, Bradley, 
Bradley said, I'm getting them, boys. Four more, four more. I'm getting them. Oh, here they come. Here they come, here they come, here they come. <laughs> Scramble, baby. You better hold on to your pants. Take him! Do you like it? Uh, yeah. I didn't want to lose them. It was tough. I mean, they just, they got down. I mean, it was it too early, you think? You liked it? Still calling the shot and filming at the same time, so I'm ho I'm hoping the boys are liking the calls here. They worked forever. I let them, well, we let them spin on us probably six times, so seven was going to be way too many. <laughs> they shot pretty darn good. Look at Flair. Get it. Looks like a caveman. <laughs> oh boy, what you got there, boy? What you got? All that green up in there. Nice. I love it, dude. They do it so dirty in the evenings here. Yeah, they do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, go get get down, get down. Look at these do it behind us. Get down in. We just fucking shoot them. Yeah, we should have. Out out of the blind, and they're just doing it. All these darn geese, we can't shoot them. We gotta wait for the geese to get out of the way. We're not chancing it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, they're, no, 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 they're going your way. Don't worry about it. Oh my goodness. Nice shooting, boys! Nice shooting. Let's grab them quick. There's gonna be. Spin back, spin back. Oh, I was hoping they'd turn back. They're doing it so good. Yeah, smoke the single. What you got there, boy? Finally got a little cold front this afternoon. <laughs> Brought in a little bit of new wind and some big old boys. Oh, man, they're beautiful, aren't Studs. they? Studs. They are studs, all of them, all of we've been shooting. Yeah. Even the even the Susies are thick. I mean, they're thick. Thor, these northern birds are beautiful. What's his butt look like underneath there? Look at that line, dude. Yeah. Nice bird. Can't beat it. Oh, well, we got about 10 minutes left of shooting light here. Let me tell you, it's been amazing. If you guys like this, you know what to do. Give me a big old thumbs up. This is why the Ducks crew, all of us, came here to Canada. You get into the green heads. Not so much the geese. We want them greens. We want them greens. It's good for the soul. We did it. We deserved it. We worked for that, dude. We worked for it. Dude, Hard. completely. We needed that. Yeah, we deserved it. We're like, almost high now. Yeah. We're going to have a fun night and do it again yeah. in the morning. Absolutely. Have you heard from them on the next field tomorrow? Yeah, they got two fields lined up. Oh, do they? Yeah. Kind of like this one, huh? Ooh. So this morning's hunt, 
um, it just didn't work. What I found out real quickly, like I said earlier, these birds do not want to land on the edge of a the field. There's way too many coyotes and predators here. So I had to learn that real quick. And we learned the hard way by this morning, just not having a great day. We shot, uh, the greens wouldn't do it over there. The only ones that did it were some woodies. Um, no geese would even come close. They stayed in the middle of this field. This was the flyaway, that's why we sat right here. So quickly I learned we have to sit in the middle of this field, hands down. We don't have a choice. So that's what we did and it paid off. We brushed in the blinds perfectly. We brought out a shovel, covered them because it's pretty muddy and it's really, really dark filled. Not a lot of trash in this field. So layout blinds, baby. Amazing, man. I love Canada. It's huge. It's magnificent. The motherland. But, but here's our spread here. That's where the blinds are. So I'm on the left side of the U. We got a big U going. So we got a little leg that goes out here and we we're kind of shooting them on a side wind. So the wind is headed that way. Here's our blinds. So what they're doing, we are coming in like this. Almost a side shot, almost a side shot, but it really, it worked really well. What happened when we got out here, the wind had switched a little bit on us, picked up a little bit. Well, that's why we heard, had to side shoot them like we did. The blinds were already blinded in. I was like, let's not move these blinds, let's just adjust this spread, and it worked. There we go, baby. That was bad. Uh, was it good? That was awesome. You like it? Oh. It was good. It was really good. We I'm deserved see, it. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Dude, we deserved it. Oh God, we busted our balls the last couple of days we did the morning oh my god dude, dude we, awesome. we deserved it dude this is uh it's an experience every time i travel and hunt i get to meet new people i get to meet people that are fans and viewers that's been uh watching the channel just as long as most of you guys and i can tell you what that every time i feel more and more and more just appreciative it's uh this is a crazy thing <laughs> it's crazy i remember sitting out at my 40-hour job uh, wondering when the day would come that I'd find something that I loved and that I could do every day. And uh, like always, I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for uh, letting me do this. You guys, you guys is what allows me to do what I do. So uh, on that note, we're going to sign off on this hunt. Be expecting some more Canada hunts. We're here for two more days. Um, today is uh, Friday, so we got Saturday, Sunday to hunt, and we found the birds. We're on them pretty hard. The guys have been working so hard. I want to thank Hayden and, and Bryce, those two. Those two guys have been scouting for us and working during the day. They haven't even got to hunt. Like, they've been hooking us up. This house, this house is Hayden's house. Thank you, Hayden. Thank you, Bryce. Like, seriously. All the boys for working. Like, it's been such a good trip. But I want to thank you guys so much. Like, usually I'm going, thank you, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, I feel pretty grateful right now. And I just want to keep it serious right now, okay? Thank you guys so much. Um, the whole spiel about liking the video and subscribing, you know what to do. But uh, on the real, like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>